Well, today we continue our study on the uh, this storyboard on faith. And we're going to start with Adam and Eve in the garden. Jesus is the creative arm of the Godhead. Jesus created everything, including Adam and Eve. They were created in the image of God, and they were given charge over the garden. Well, Jesus walked with them in the garden every evening and teaching them the things that they needed to know. What a teacher. Wouldn't that be great to have Jesus as our teacher? Jesus told them that Lucifer had rebelled in heaven and that every one of God's creations would be tested. They're going, and that includes you and I. They're going to be tested for their loyalty towards God. So Adam and Eve's test was that old tree of knowledge of good and evil that we've all read about that was in the middle of the garden. So God told Adam and Eve not to eat of the fruit of, of it, uh, because if they did, that you would die that very day. That was the uh, warning, or that was the uh, thing that God told them, that if they ate of the tree of good and evil, they would die that very day. So Jesus also told them not to wander around in the garden alone, because there was safety in numbers. But one day Eve was wandering around, and she came near the forbidden tree. And of course, Lucifer was in the tree. He had disguised himself as a snake. And uh, he started a conversation with Eve. Now, if a snake started a conversation with me, I would be really shocked. But this is what he did with Eve. Uh, he deceived her by saying that God really didn't mean what he said, and that he was merely withholding something good from her. So what did she do? She fell for this lie. And she ate from the tree and then persuaded her husband, Adam, to eat from the tree also. Well, fear came on them as soon as they realized what they had done. And they, they looked at each other and they realized they were naked. So they hid from Jesus when he normally came to walk with them in the afternoon. Now, because of their sin, uh, Adam and Eve were expelled from the garden. And Jesus eventually showed them how to sacrifice a lamb for repentance for their sins. So imagine the pain that they must have had, because up to this time there was no death in uh, the Garden of Eden. So they had to take the life of an innocent lamb, and they knew, because Jesus told them this somehow, that one day Jesus himself would have to die for their sins. Now let's take a look at some of the Bible texts that go along with this. In Genesis 3.11 we read, this is a promise that God uh, made, actually both to the, to the snake and to Adam and Eve. And he says, I will put enmity, that's a state of feeling of being uh, opposed or hostile to someone or something. So there's going to be a, this un, a feeling between the woman and mankind and the devil. Between thee and between the woman. Between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head and it shall br uh, bruise his heel. So God put a situation there that would give mankind some hope to overcome the wiles of the devil. Genesis 3.14, it says, And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. So possibly when God created uh, snakes, 
Uh, they possibly could have uh, had wings, if you will, and, and could have flown around. But after this uh, treachery that the devil did, the uh, snakes were uh, relegated to slither along on the ground. So in, in Genesis uh, 3.21, we read that, And unto Adam also to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothed them. Now where did he get these coats of skin? He, God must have had to uh, slaughter a sheep to get these coats of skin. And finally, we read in Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So as sin entered into this earth through the uh, Adam and Eve eating the apple, so also we have the hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, great. Now let's turn to Adam and Eve's children. Adam and Eve had initially two children, two boys. So Adam and Eve taught their children about what they needed for a Savior and showed them the way to forgiveness. So they, Adam and Eve told them how they should make a, uh, a sacrifice unto the Lord of a lamb. So Abe, Abel took their teaching to heart and brought a lamb as instructed for a sacrifice. But Cain, his brother, disobeyed and brought fruit and vegetable from his garden for his sacrifice, but God did not accept his sacrifice. And this infuriated Cain, and because of this he later murdered his brother Abel. Now let's see what the Bible says about this. If we turn to uh, Genesis 4, 4, Genesis 4, 4, we read, And Abel, he bro also brought of the firstlings, this is Old English, don't forget, And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel to his offerings. So God accepted uh, Abel's offerings. And in um, Genesis 4, verses uh, 1 to 5, talks about how uh, Adam made love to his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. And she said, With the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. And later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. So Cain and Abel were the firstborn of Adam and Eve. Now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruit of the soil as an offering to the Lord, and Abel also brought an offering fat portions for the same of the firstborn of his flock. And the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offerings, but on Cain and his offerings he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then on verse 6 it says, and, then, and the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, you will, not, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Verse 8. Now Cain said to his brother, Let us go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. So Cain and Abel, uh, that was the first murder in the Bible. This is where sin uh, came into the first family that was born on earth. This is where Cain attacked his brother and killed him.
because of sin that entered in through Adam and Eve and the snake.